In this topic, we will going to talk about working with databases and to be very specific, we will going to work with SQLite, which is a light database for working with SQL data. All right. So first of all, we need to get the package SQLite. And by now, I think you will be well versed into getting the packages from the Julia library. If not, let's go ahead and do that using pkg is the package first of all we need to get that so that we can get or access its function which is add function now once we have get it pkg dot add and then the name of the julia library which is sql light so s q l i t e so it doesn't have two l like s q l light the way it has been given a name to the software or to this library is SQLite, S-Q-L-I-T-E. So once we add that, since I have already added, it will just going to update for me and will take some time. All right, so it took almost around 40 seconds to one minute and it's showing that updating the existing library. So since there are no changes, no changes have been given here. So once we have added the library, what we can do is basically three different types of operations. So first is the DDL, which is data definition language related command. And those are basically your create, alter and drop. Basically, these are used to define the data into the uh, into the database so create something create the tables alter is basically to alter the table and drop the table and other you know objects database objects so this this is basically more of an administration task then you have dml which basically a manipulating manipulation of the uh, data so which is like insert update and delete so insert is to insert records, update is to update records in table and delete is to delete records from the table. And generally the access that we usually get is or as a data scientist or mostly as a data engineer, if, if your role is not over here, which is to define or manipulate. In some cases, there may be your, case, your uh, role, but mostly we manage with the query language TQL, which is uh, select. And most of the time we will be interacting with this. So the first thing is how we can connect the database or how we can execute the, the commands like this. And finally, how we can query. So to do the DDL related task, which means create, alter and drop. What you need to do is basically SQL.DB is the command. If you need to do the data manipulation, then the command is SQL light dot execute and let me just SQL light SQL light dot execute and then finally if you need to do the query then you need to use the SQL dot SQL light sorry SQL light dot query all right so I'm not executing this since this is just for the explanation perspective. So what we're going to do is let's try to create a simple data set or the database over here. So for that, first of all, we need to say using SQLite, right? So that we can execute all of these commands without no issues. So to create it, we will write DB, which is nothing but the database sqlite.db and let's create uh, something like movies data set for example movies once we execute it this will going to create the movies database for us and now once it has been created we can do all sort of operations like uh, creating the table querying the table inserting data and all that so let's try to to basically create the table SQLite dot execute. So this is basically indicating that uh, it's it's going to uh, preserve the records. So DB comma um, create. I will just 
follow the syntax which is in caps create table if not exists so that's the sqlite related uh, syntax that we need to follow and movies and then within that you need to enter a movie id let's say movie underscore id and it's a real value so real p and uh, movie name movie underscore name it is basically your text so real is basically your number and then you have text other things you can basically uh, go go to the sqlite related tutorial there are many if you will just write the sqlite in google you will find many if, if you are not at all aware about this so movie name movie name is text or text in capital and then uh, where the movie was produced so maybe location is text okay that's okay that should be fine 101 is basically indicates that it's executed successfully and uh, to verify it we can write this command sqlite dot tables and db so we are asking in the db data set how many tables are present so once we execute it it will show the movies data set, movies table that we have created all right so it has movies as you can see the one we have just created now what what i want to do is uh, i want to create insert a record so sql light and if you remember to insert the record you need to use the execute right so let me just go up a little bit and write execute db comma insert insert into movies movies is small so movies and then um movie underscore id movie underscore name and location all right and then we have values so for values let's enter some value movie id let's say one movie name let's say adventures and movie location the location where it was created i think it's it's in us united states so let's go ahead and do that and one thing one mistake which i'm seeing is this since we are already double coated so to use single quote over here now we should be good and 101 as you know by now indicates success right so how you can query this well to do that sqlite dot query q u r query and oops query and within that you need to specify the the query that you want so we want select star from movies because we want to fetch all records and that's why i have used star so i hope you are aware about these basic sql related syntaxes so we want all the records and if i execute it will give us a bit of a problem which i will show you how you can resolve it all right so it will take initially some time so no method matching sqlite dot query so hold on i think sqlite q u e r y yeah one issue other than what i was mentioning is i need to specify the database in which database i need it yeah so it's basically not an error it's but it is unreadable for a normal normal human being or for a programmer about what is going on because it is returning a tuple about this this particular table so how we can um how we can uh, you know see it like a proper table so for that what we need to use is using data frames if data frames are not added to you or you have not added because i've explained that in the previous video about how you can uh, add the data frames so you can actually add it using this pkg.add data frames and once you press shift enter or control enter it will execute it since it is already added for me i don't have to do it again and within that we have a method which is data frame and once i execute it 
it will give us the proper you know table structure like this so we have just added the one record that's why we got one record out of it apart from this the another method which i can show you and commonly used is getting all the columns so right now we have three columns that we have given but when you will work in the real life or real world data sets there will be hundreds of columns and you will have to iterate it through so first thing is how you can get the columns so sql light dot columns database name and the table names so this is basically all the columns that you have uh, this is the type and if any missing in 64 all of that different value but mostly this these are all your column and their respective data set or data type that they are having now the one last thing which as an exercise i will give you is working with the data set that is the uh, inbuilt data set or it has some real data with which you can do all the manipulation and everything so for that what do i have is basically the julia's or the anaconda's interface where the folder are present so as you can see we created the movies database and in one of the previous videos we imported the, or we uploaded the iris file to work with it now we were going to upload the data set so for sqlite i have one of the data set which is chinook it's one of the inbuilt data set that is having some of the example rows so now chinook.db has been uploaded which i can now use over here so i will just write the same name chinook and sqlite.db and then the database name which is Schnook. So over here within double quotation, schnook.db should be okay. Yeah. So it has created or it has created this object which is having the rows. If I want to see all the table, the the tables which are present into this uh, this particular data set, what I can write is SQLite dot tables schnook. And these are the different tables, the 13 different tables that are part of it. Now, if I want to query, let's say employees, SQL, like SQLite dot query. And in that, I want to specify, first of all, the data set name, the database name, Chinook, and then select star from employees. And don't forget to add data frame to it all right let's go and see and here is our eight rows and 15 columns employees data set which is like a small data set to work with so what i really want is uh, a couple of things which you can do with this uh, one is uh, first of all you may have to look at the sql light tutorial so if I write SQLite tutorial, then you will find a lot of different tutorials, which will give you the same syntax, which I have been showing over here, right? SQL select star from employees and whatnot. So what I want for you is you practice the where condition, what are where conditions, you practice very important group by order by and if possible having clause these are like the most uh, useful clause that we, we use it most of the time it com it can become as complex as a as you want because there are like then you have joins which which again use if if possible i would suggest you use join so use the joins, use having, use ordered by, use group by. With, with this, you will have a very good understanding. First of all, if you don't know SQL, you will get a good knowledge of SQL because the same query will work with other interfaces like SQL Server or Oracle PL SQL, as well as within Julia, how you can work with data sets like this, which are small data sets for, let's say, proof of concept or a small data set you need to work on. It will be pretty fast work for you. So that's the uh, the exercise that I am leaving up with leaving it to you. And if you find any problem, 
put some uh, put it into a comments and i will reply to you with the right syntax or uh, the solution to the problem but that's pretty much it for this video and i will meet you in the next video or next topic